City Connect, Parking Simplified. This is a presentation by Group 7, Michelle Gronrus, Jordan Hanchen, Amber Langdon, and Laura Matitis. Our group's challenge was to figure out how we can use the Internet of Things to potentially improve the lives of people in St. Petersburg. How can we utilize today's technology to make transportation around St. Petersburg easier? Could we program an innovation to assist with everyday needs? Our group focused on the challenge of how might we improve parking for those in St. Petersburg who choose not to use public transportation. The team developed an idea when we brainstormed IODs on how we might improve the public parking by incorporating a mission. And our mission at City Connect is to develop and implement a solution to the congested parking downtown by using an innovative mindset and process. We would like to expand on the current possibilities of parking in a more efficient way and connect people to technology. What do you see on these pictures? The first picture annotates a man carrying his car around a parking lot. This shows the drive around and circling of parking lots, wasting fuel and wasting time trying to find a parking space. The second picture in the upper right hand corner shows congestion of vehicles piled up on top of each other. The third picture is a comic. This is showing that a client had paid $90 for a parking spot to use and people don't respect that. So we have one man who thinks he found a spot and another man who actually paid for the spot, which is the case in parking garages where people are not getting caught. At City Connect, it's our mission to stop all of these problems from occurring. Based on our research, smart parking would benefit citizens, the government, and our environment. The average person spends 17 hours every year searching for parking, and 1 million barrels of oil are burned each and every day by people searching for parking. Currently, only 5% of parking violators are actually ticketed, causing the government to miss out on potential revenue. Smart parking is also a growing market with an expected compound annual growth rate of nearly 11%. Pinellas County already has a tax in place, Penny for Pinellas, that we can utilize to fund smart parking in St. Pete. Penny for Pinellas is a 1% tax on all sales and generates approximately $147 million annually. 51% of the revenue generated by Penny for Pinellas is allocated to smart parking. The tax is already approved through 2030 and can be used to fund the expansion of smart parking throughout the county after the pilot in St. Pete is complete. There is a clear need for smart parking in the St. Petersburg area and Penny for Pinellas can help us fund this. So here at City Connect, our vision is now to see a future where everything is connected and city experiences are now tailored to the needs of its residents. We need to tailor to the need of smart parking. How are we going to do this? We decided on a couple of different things. We're going to first of all incorporate IoT or Internet of Things technology into our city streets. We're going to do this by incorporating smart parking, which will connect residents and police to the parking system. This will allow for us to increase parking violations for parking spots to be reserved and for police and citizens to be connected in a way that increases efficient use of time when it comes to parking. There were many innovation concepts, tools, and models covered in our course. I'll cover these in more detail on the next slide, but would like to introduce you to some of the concepts that we used. Our scope and vision to incorporate an Internet of Things solution to smart parking, which connects drivers and police, will utilize an open innovation concept that will require significant technology. To achieve this demand-pull approach, we will need radical innovation. We use several tools such as the How Might We Challenge and brainstorm the results. 
Another key tool that I want to highlight that was instrumental in laying out our design was the eight essentials process. This helped us focus on the what you do and the how you do it by moving through the eight processes. These will be highlighted on the next slide and covered in a little more detail. As we moved into the innovation process, we utilized our identified innovation tools and concepts that were covered in the previous slide. We broke the innovation process down into three main categories, the area of innovation, idea management, and execution. In the previous slide, we talked about the eight essentials process, which we found very beneficial to helping us through the innovation challenge. To highlight these eight steps, they are highlighted in blue font on the slide. When we looked at how to strategize, we used the innovation challenge to identify and prioritize key problems that need to be solved based on our insights. To capture ideas, we use brainstorming techniques such as the how might we challenge to refine the problems we want to solve for. We began the eight essentials process of Aspire and identified goals and various innovation concepts that apply to our problem. Our Internet of Things idea requires significant technology that require deep knowledge and specialized capabilities. An open innovation concept would include technology innovation, radical innovation, and a demand-pull approach to bring change to the city's current parking issue. For the most part, we will need an external technology base as well as a technology insourcing or outside-in to achieve our integrated and coordinated service strategy for our solution. We evaluated our ideas utilizing fact-based research on other smart cities and using the Big Toe Challenge to ask ourselves what the people of St. Pete would really want and need to solve for these challenges, and then we made our final choice. For the next step, we generated a proposal and evolved our business model so that we could gain support. After planning came the execution phase, where we begin our design and our process of our solution and identify ways to accelerate, scale, and clearly outline what our next steps would be to execute our proof of concept so that we can then extend into implementation. We expect the process of area of innovation to take approximately one month. Idea management could take between two to three months and execution could take between six to nine months. The first part of our brainstorming process was to figure out what area in the Sun Coast region we can innovate. What can we solve for? There were four key problem areas in the Sun Coast area. There's the problem of safety, the problem of the actual vehicle, the problem of parking, and the problem of tra traffic patterns. Based on a scale with value, ease of implementation, and cost in mind, we decided that we would improve the parking and innovate parking in the area of the Suncoast region in St. Petersburg. For our brainstorming process, our group decided that we wanted to focus our project on smart transportation and started by brainstorming ideas individually. We then categorized our ideas to see where we overlapped. We then reviewed each idea and rated smart parking as our top choice for this project. Our key stakeholders are the county citizens, the county government, the environment, and the smart parking project team. The project team would include the urban planner, project managers, equipment manufacturers, engineers, software developers, and advisors from other cities with smart parking in place currently. After all of the steps we took in the innovation process, we can finally introduce what our solution is to the challenge that was presented to us. To make parking simplified, one part of City Connect is the mobile parking application that will be developed. We will work with software developers and other similar applications like Park Mobile to design the most effective and efficient mobile applica application. The mobile app will allow residents and visitors of St. Petersburg to search for a parking space at a designated metered spot or in a parking garage, book and pay for that parking space for whatever designated amount of time, then drive to the book spot and done. With all of the events that go on in St. Petersburg weekly, being able to save a parking spot ahead of time will save the people time and reduce the amount of traffic due to people continually having to drive around the block to find a spot. 
Now, to make sure that parking spots are saved and tracked, the other part of City Connect is the creation of the parking sensors that will be located in each parking spot. The sensors will be there to measure time and license plate information, collect parking data, and also will be able to track parking violations which will be connected to the Police Department and Security of St. Petersburg to make sure violations are tracked and paid for. The sensors will take time to develop, but are a crucial piece of technology that will help turn St. Pete into the smart city it should be. Once we have a prototype of the sensors and mobile application created, it will be crucial to engage the stakeholders to roll out the product. To start, we will want to execute a pilot project for City Connect. To execute the pilot concept, we will pick a small area of downtown St. Pete where we can test 100 sensors and parking spots and open up the mobile application to those spots and test it for three to six months. To make sure we get people to use the application, we will need support and marketing from businesses and stakeholders in the community to get the word out. After a few months of testing the product, it will be key to obtain feedback from the people who created the application and sensors and obtain feedback from the residents and visitors who use the app. Once it is clear we have a solid product, City Connect will expand to all of downtown St. Petersburg, and eventually, after it becomes a success in St. Pete, City Connect can evolve to other downtown areas in the Suncoast area. Wrapping up our innovation challenge, as a group, we believe that we followed the process and concepts presented to us and successfully came up with a solution to the challenge. As a group, we learned a lot about how to focus in on one problem and work on finding the solution to only that one problem. Individually, it has allowed us to take these concepts outside of the classroom and start looking at how we can use these in our careers. Who knows, maybe we can be a part of turning St. Pete into the smart city that it should be. For future students, our biggest recommendation is to really take your time on the brainstorming process and come up with a bunch of ideas, but then make sure that you narrow it down to one specific idea that you really want to find the solution to. This concludes Group 7's Innovation Challenge Solution. Thank you.